We've been friends longer than we've been in a band. Ever since we first decided to play music together around 2001, 2002, like it's not really even a conscious thing. Like we were just playing in my parents' basement. There's so many rumors that people think about those guys, but it's so obvious that they're best friends. They get along as well today as they did last time, and I know there were, there were some rough spots, but uh, you know, they're, they're like brothers. We're just playing like really small like little shows around San Francisco, and it just is like taking its own life from there. It's just gonna be, uh, it's gonna be ass to elbows in there. It'll be fun. You hear this band and it's just great. You can't, you know, you can't just not listen to it and just be like, oh my God, this is awesome. A year ago, we were gonna just kind of get together and try some songs out and see if we like got along, see if we like were playing good music again together, just see if it was working. And I got into a car accident, so I couldn't really play for a while, and we decided just to book a bunch of shows because we knew we'd have to wait like four months before we could really play. And then I was kind of it, and then we just kind of dove into it. I mean, all the shows since then have been really exuberant. And it's such an honor that people still have this faith in us after this, this amount of time, you know. And especially with a lot of this new material, it's, it's a little bit different. <laughs> I really like Chicago a lot. I mean, I would say besides, like Chicago and New York, the only other cities I go to sometimes, like maybe Portland, but not really, where I'm like, I think I could actually live here. Like this is maybe the only other place in America besides San Francisco that I could live. I feel the same way about Chicago too, yeah. I like the L trains. Yeah, yeah. They're so romantic. Yeah. The girls are pretty, the, uh, the ice is cold. In the Midwest? Yeah, yeah that's about right. Yeah, right? You would say? I love uh, the girls in the Midwest. Yeah. Well, I was standing over there with a kid, and like, he had his girlfriend and his mom with him, and they had driven like hundreds of miles. And you know, at first he was like trying to talk and like seem all cool, like, yeah, I got this for you to sign. And then his mom came up with a camera and was like, this is my son's favorite band. He was like, mom, shut up. <laughs> You call that a beard? <laughs> what you got on this, dog? <laughs> it was pretty amazing. It's hard to say that they haven't gotten better because they've, they've gotten better, but they were so good from day one. In the time off, in both doing our solo things and having different experiences like musically, I think that we've learned a lot, especially with, the, with this new material, it's like quite different. I'm sort of like looking forward to having the opportunity to go into the studio and to record this record. For our first two shows we played in San Francisco, we just learned a bunch of our old songs and then played those two shows and then since then we've just been working on new stuff. For me, it's a lot more exciting to be playing each night, knowing that we're like doing something new all the time. I received this, and I'm looking for the missing signature. It was incredible. It's, I've been waiting to see them for so long, so it was really great. I don't know. I mean, I think both of us definitely love performing a lot. For me, it's sort of like an addiction. I definitely feel a lot more at ease with myself and my life when I'm playing a lot, especially being on tour when I'm playing consistently.